Hey guys, I want to tell you what happened when I increased my fasting to 21 hours. It's quite interesting. I did an experiment on myself. Now, normally I eat around 12 or maybe one and six and seven. So I get about 18 hours of fasting with a six hour eating window. And normally I do videos like the one I'm doing now between 12 o'clock and two or three. So the experiment that I did on myself is simply um, eat when I got back from filming. So my first meal was at three and the second meal was at six. So that's just a three hour eating window. That gives me 21 hours of fasting compared to 18. It doesn't seem like much, but it made a significant difference in my cognitive function. I noticed when I was on this pattern, there is definitely more editing, more mistakes. So in this pattern right here, fasting for 21 hours, rarely did I make any mistakes. It was quite remarkable. So there are improvements in memory for sure, more focused, better learning. I can, in the mornings, I'm always studying something. I can digest and assimilate things much better. I can locate things. I remember where I put things. A more creative, way better mood, less grouchiness and less irritableness. Not that I'm ever grouchy or irritable. Okay, seven, increased productivity. I mentioned that already. I'm just getting a lot more done. Uh, more organized because of the focus and more decisive. So I really don't need any study to convince me. All I needed to do was do my own experiment and see it for myself. But if you actually look at the research, this is what happens. You actually increase something called BDNF. It stands for Brain Derived Neurotrophic Factor. This is a protein that actually helps you grow your neurons and synapses. It's like miracle grow for your brain. It just helps regrow brain cells. It also slows aging. Also, when you're doing fasting, you're increasing your ketones, which naturally support the brain. Your brain prefers ketones over glucose. Also, you're increasing autophagy. Autophagy cleans out all the damaged protein out of the brain, like the amyloid placking. And fasting improves the little connections, the synapses between the neurons. Now, the other thing you have to realize is that when someone gets Alzheimer's, it doesn't just happen overnight. It's been brewing in the oven for quite some years, sometimes 20, sometimes 30 years before you end up getting this condition. But it always starts with a loss of cognitive function. So the big problem with Alzheimer's is that it's silent. You don't know you have it until later in life. So I wanna challenge you with an experiment on yourself. Now, you may already be at this pattern or even doing OMAD or even longer right now, but if you're at 18 hours or less, I challenge you to try this pattern right here. So have the first meal at three o'clock and the second meal at six o'clock, giving yourself 21 hours and try this for three days, evaluate your cognitive function and post the comments below and lastly, check out this other video I have on the screen relating to the different patterns of intermittent fasting for different conditions. You'll really enjoy this.